Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night, about 10 p.m. here, California time, September 16th, 2024. Latest activity here on the globe. Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.9 into Hawaii. Now, they discovered this morning that there was a short eruption last night there across the Kilauea volcano. We'll get to that here in just a little bit. want to cover space weather activity here where we're looking at a... Uh, fairly significant solar storm the arrival of that uh, cme we were expecting pretty much uh, early this morning came quite a few hours later uh, but nonetheless amplifying the conditions out there across the polar regions for now in terms of the auroras here in northern california uh, we got some rain coming in some cloud cover so i'm not even able to uh, get out and see if we have anything going on uh, KP index almost up around the 8 range, right? Goodness, that is a significant storm. And um, again, it's still ongoing here. Uh, portions of uh, the northern tier states here definitely have some of that overhead. The brunt of it, though, obviously the intensifying areas up into Alaska and Canada. But no doubt, uh, could probably see uh, some kicking up out there. Look at that, G4 class storm. Uh, is uh, observed here. That's a pretty significant. Remember back in May, we had a G5 class storm. Aurora's down into Northern California. So uh, here's a view line expected tonight. Again, this was a little late in the arrival department, but hey, better late than never, right? And it looks as though things are going to allow for uh, this to continue overnight. Let me, uh, yeah, there's the KP index right there. Let me check out the real-time solar wind stream and see what we got. There is a latest. Notice these red dots here, these run times indicating a southward tilt of the BZ component south of this line. Below this line here is a good sign. So that will continue, it looks like, uh, for the remainder of the night. Uh, maybe uh, get out there if you have clear skies. Be able to see the auroras out there. Goodness, definitely a... Uh, Quite a show going on, but uh, here in Northern California, not so much. Even if we did have, you know, a KP index up around the 9 G5 class storm, then, uh, well, it got too much clouds. A little bit of cloud and some uh, rain activity out here. So that is the latest information there on the space weather activity. This could continue until morning time. So get out there and get a chance to um, get some pictures if you can. Let's check out earthquake activity here real quick. See what's going on here across the the flat scale model Earth. 5.1 earthquake out in Texas earlier uh, this evening. Originally coming in as a 4.8. I kind of mentioned there that they would at least upgrade it because many other stations were showing mid five and even upper fives, but they went with a 5.1. Uh, this was felt fairly broadly over the area here around Western Texas, uh, including areas in New Mexico, uh, over around Dallas, Texas, felt it as well. Even maybe up into Oklahoma City there. Fairly significant earthquake. Um, and this area of Texas here, as I've mentioned before, is littered. It's the Permian Basin out here, and it's got one of the highest oil concentrations out here anywhere. And there's so many of these oil fields out here. You can't even walk five feet uh, without bumping into another new uh, oil pad out here. This five pointer striking um, around some, um, maybe some older ones out here. Who knows? There may be some newer ones out here that just not, not there on the map. Looks like one down here, uh, 500 feet or so just to the south. But either way, hey, that's going to be the uh, future of Texas and anywhere else that has these uh, oil fields and fracking operations and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I did hear about some type of oil refinery fire down here near Laporte, I think it is. Huge flame. Um, goodness. Uh, not for sure exactly the reason of that, but uh, that's that was a little bit more around this area, I believe, down south, away from that earthquake activity. And much earlier in the day today. Uh, so we'll continue to watch this. Um, really nothing occurring following that 5.1 a little odd uh, tech or uh, california out here a little bit of movement around the malibu area i'm thinking about going down here checking this area out um do a little bit of on-site geology studies out here i really don't want to venture down into los angeles but i wouldn't mind 
uh, hitting the Malibu area and checking out the Malibu Coast Fault here. It does. Uh, it, it runs right there across this highway at the base of the, these mountain ranges, and uh, there's a uh, uh, some interesting features out there. Just offshore, there's a fairly large basin drop off here, and um, pretty certain some of this is a thrust type fault. But look at this uh, offshore here of California, quite the warping of the land, a lot of dynamics out here, and that's what you get when you uh, have something you know very close here to the plate boundary, right? Get all this strain and stress folding of the oceanic crust, and of course, inland. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about just going down there and uh, observing uh, the area just off Highway 1 here where the majority of the swarming activity is occurring. Malibu Riviera. So I don't know. We'll see. Thinking about just doing some type of uh, on-site geology, geology trip. And I think that's an area to watch right now. So let me go down there and check it out. Either way, we got a little bit of earthquake activity here. In the last hour, 1.6. And um, earlier, a 3.7 struck out here early this morning. Since then, a handful of other earthquakes in the mix as well. Uh, nothing major going on out here across the San Andreas Fault for now. A couple smaller earthquakes here. Brawley Seismic Zone southward in the course of typical movement here across the San Jacinto Fault Zone. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, Northern California, fairly quiet. Goodness, awfully quiet. Nothing going on really through Oregon or Washington. A couple scattered earthquakes up there. Let's check out the trimmer map here tonight where we have zero trimmers being reported. Nothing at all. Rest of the country out here, aside from that 5.1 in Texas, fairly quiet, but... Uh, Definitely a, a good size quake out there. All right, now we'll get to Hawaii here. Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity. I'm going to run over here to the Microsoft Edge site real quick and check out the latest information statement here on Kilauea Volcano, which still sits at an orange and a watch level. Now, this update is fairly recent, put out uh, just a short time ago. Uh, increased seismic and ground information near the crater in Hawaii. Um, I'm not for sure exactly how to pronounce that, so I'm going to avoid it. Uh, indicate an ongoing magmatic intrusion. A very small eruption occurred in the area yesterday evening. And um, really didn't even know about it, I guess, until this morning when they did some observation runs. People started smelling a lot of sulf uh, sulfuric gases out there. Caught some trees on fire as well. Um... Got about 80 earthquakes here in the Middle East Rift Zone since this morning's update. Weak tremor that was detected on the seismograph stations there beginning yesterday afternoon is also ongoing. So we got a lot going on here. Um, this deformation obviously is a, re a result of magma entering a storage region several kilometers below the surface. Everyone's continuing to watch that. Here's the uh, eruption summary on a remote section of the Middle East Rift Zone, uh, west of Naupu, Naupu Crater, I think that is. This eruption, which is now over, likely occurred between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. last night. Uh, looks like a little bit of helicopter overflights this morning. Um, let's see if we got some media here. We do a little bit of media. A small little eruption here, two lava pads. But you got to think about it. There's been a lot of accumulation of magma underneath here. Um, and it, it appears as though there's just not enough pressure to uh, break through to the surface there, resulting in a, uh, a little bit larger eruption. Uh, yeah, vegetation in the immediate eruption area was burned, and sulfur dioxide continues to degas from the vents. So let's go see here what we got for the latest data here. Still seeing that earthquake activity confined to right around where the eruption uh, took place. 1840. 
I'm not 100% certain if they added uh, any recent lava flows on here. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Very small area right there in that line. Uh, let me zoom in. I can't even zoom in anymore. It's going to be this area right here, that little fissure that opened up. Um, not a not a big deal, uh, but I guarantee you there's a lot more volume of magma underneath this area. I think it's just having issues here, uh, finding some weak spots out here. Let's check out these seismograph stations here. Still seeing some earthquake activity out there, obviously. Uh, it's, it really hasn't calmed down either at all. far as the tilt meters go, there's a, I guess this is the closest one over here, but that really, it's a considerable distance away from uh, this area here. The overall deformation data there around the summit, of course, is going to show a uh, decline here. There's that magma loss from the summit off to the upper east rift zone. F fairly significant uh, drop here. Um, I'm not 100% certain if it matches the uh, the weekly or daily chart here, that's a huge drop on the on the monthly chart. Uh, but either way, got some, uh, got some interesting activity taking place out there. I guess we'll continue to watch that. I mean, it's trying to break through. All right, uh, let's see. We'll back out of here, see what else we got here across the worldwide area. Movement out. In the Philippines here recently, a little 4.9. Nothing big going on here across that subduction zone yet. Mariana Trench, of course, uh, we had that 6.3 early this morning. A little bit of movement here since then, down south here in the Guam area, 5.0. Uh, but just kind of a waiting game out here now. Sometimes we get uh, some large quakes here and it calms down for a little bit. And then it ramps back up. 3.5 around the Indonesia Islands area. A couple deeper quakes here across Tonga. New Zealand at 3.4. Uh, South America area, typical movement here on any given day. Although a slight increase here following that event uh, late last night out in these uh, rift boundaries. Uh, divergent boundary activity. This... Uh, Peru Chile Trench is influenced by what goes on here across uh, this area. And it looks like there's a little bit of uh, increasing movement following that activity today. Roughly confined to the center portion here of the Peru Chile Trench. Combination of deep and um, semi deep uh, earth earthquake activity there. Puerto Rico Trench up here got a couple smaller quakes, 3.5. Uh, San Antonio, Puerto Rico area around the Mona Seamount, but this is uh, about 16 miles deep here, so associated with uh, the subduction zone that sits out here. Atlantic Ocean, quiet. Nothing at all showing up there. Um, well, maybe a little 3.1 up in Iceland. Aside from that, uh, get outside. If you have clear skies, not too often do we see the Cape Index bounce up like that. G4 class storm uh, is fairly significant, folks. And the current aurora forecast here, if you're down in Antarctica, maybe that might be an option. But I think it's pretty cold down there this time of year. Any time of year, right? Uh, Alaska has to be getting some awesome activity up here in, in Canada as well. So if you feel like sharing some uh, pictures, even if you're from the northern tier states here, feel free to send them to uh, me. I'll uh, sort through them and uh, possibly show them up here on the next video here tomorrow. Earthmastermail at gmail.com is my email and the uh, best way to send those pictures. So I'll be looking for them. Seismograph stations out here, a little spike of an earthquake on Bakersfield. Cal State Bakersfield, little, really small earthquake, nothing big. Aside from that, seismograph stations out here look uh, quiet. Have a good night, folks. Have a good night. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here early in the morning. I am calling it a night. I don't know, just kind of tired today. Mondays are always draining. 
So we'll catch you guys out here sometime in the morning. Take care.